Right here we have some of the shark's teeth that we found from yesterday. Um, and so you can take a look at those and you can try and sort them so you have little boxes. It feels like cool and stuff to see stuff that like people saw before us and stuff. I see shark teeth like Native American tools that they used to use and like stingray tails and fossils. Got these with the uh, magnifying glass so that you can see if, if you recognize any patterns or maybe there's some letters on the coins. You get to like touch it, feel it, see it, be able to um, observe it. Yeah, yeah, nice job clean. there. So why do you think we use paintbrushes? Because then it'll wash oh, all the teeth and then it'll go the same. Yeah, it's, it's pretty great to have them come over and get excited every morning. There's some kids running over here being like, what did you find last night? What did you find? And so being able to talk about that and tie that in so that they have a memory when they're talking about um, the Spanish conquistadors in class. They can say, oh, I remember when we saw those gold doubloons. Okay. When they hypothesize of why something is there, why are those shark's teeth here? Why, uh, why are there Spanish artifacts? Um, which taps into Florida history and some, some elements of our, of our standards that the kids are learning about uh, through an authentic experience. So that curiosity um, of what is there or not there, but more importantly, uh, gaining their interest. The best part is, is called how the coins are not round and stuff, and they found stuff that people used to loot, um, use before us. Those, those are our stingrays, so they're fossilized, so they're very old. It's just a good experience to me. It's like super old. That's not a rock, that's a fossil. It's, it's pretty neat, so there's lots of excited faces and oohs and wows and the best part I think is having um, these students get their hands dirty and actually try cleaning up some of the artifacts and uh, looking closer at it and making sketches and observations and um, coming up with their own conclusions to why something might be here is a really great experience um, and it's pretty exciting. So that, that one is from a lemon shark and then these ones in here are from a sand shark. The interest and um, uh, and the desire to, I want to dig, I want to find out about what's under us to learn about history um, could be enough to, to get them through high school and, and pick certain sciences in high school and pick certain sciences in college. And the next thing you know, they're paleontologists. And, uh, and it all started because of this archaeological dig when they were in first, second, third grade. You can tell the difference between an igneous rock. It's cool to see stuff under the ground. It for sure is an opportunity to expand career options and think outside of their community. Just because um, they may not know an archaeologist doesn't mean that they can't be one when they grow up. So this is a nice way to show some more career paths um, that they could potentially pursue. Because most people don't get this opportunity to do stuff like this. It's a lot of fun, um, and it's really cool to see our, our young ladies who are getting dirty too are seeing that, oh, perhaps science or at least something in STEM might be something that I want to pursue in my future as well uh, for our younger gals that are coming and visiting our archaeology table. Thanks so much for coming, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, yes, it, it is. Thank you so much.